everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to lead you through a 30 minute full body workout with no repeats and there's no equipment needed. Make sure that you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right guys, we're gonna begin with a little bit of a warm up. First up, you're gonna take a nice bend in the knees. Then we're gonna reach up and over, circling the arms forward. Same thing, but circle the arm backward. Good, warming up the hips, circling those knees, bringing them as close as you can to your chest. Good. Feet in a natural squat position. You're gonna come down. Reach the arm up and twist. Switch. Stretch those legs. And one more time. Down, sit into the squat position. Let those hips open up. Good, next up we're gonna warm up those wrists. So coming down on your knees, we're gonna circle around. Good, other direction. Put the backs of your hands onto the floor, stretch those out. Good, standing up. We're gonna stretch out the neck. So tilt the ear to the shoulder. Good, looking left and right. Good, and up and down. Good, last but not least, warming up those ankles. So we're rolling outwards with one foot. Good, inwards. Good, switching feet. Good, switching directions. Good. that's your quick little warm up. We're taking a 30 second rest. Next up, we're moving into our no repeat workout session. So <clears throat> each one of our exercises today are gonna be 45 seconds on with a 15 second rest, except for single leg exercises. Some of them will be 30 seconds each side. First up, you're gonna do a plank walkout. So come to the end of your mat, you're gonna walk out into a high plank, straight line. Then you're gonna jump the feet in close to the hands. Out, walk it all, all the way up and stand up. If the half burpee is too much, you're just gonna step it in, step it out, and walk back up.
Nice work. Next up, you're gonna do a single leg RDL. Then you're gonna bring your leg into a knee drive. So coming down, leg is straight, sitting into this supporting heel, then coming up and bringing the leg up. So we're testing our balance, also working on our core as well as our supporting leg. If you find that you're really struggling with your balance, you can just do single leg RDLs, tap the foot, find your balance, come down, tap the foot. Good, give that supporting leg a shake. We're gonna do the other side. Here we go, hinge at those hips. It's not about getting this leg high up, it's about hinging at the hip, sitting back into that supporting leg, and then pushing through that supporting leg to stand up. Good work, we're gonna come down to the ground. Next up, you're gonna do a push-up into four shoulder taps. So you can do this push-up on your toes or on your knees, and you can also do these shoulder taps on your toes or on your knees. Coming down, up, one, two, three, four. Make sure you're not swaying the body when you're doing these shoulder taps. Nice work, we're gonna stay down here on the floor. You're gonna switch over onto your booty. We're gonna do one leg for 30 seconds and the other leg for 30 seconds. You're gonna be in a reverse bridge position. Extend one leg, you're gonna pop those hips up. As you bring the hips up, knee comes towards your face. So you're kind of doing a crunch motion here and lower. When you bring that knee up, make sure you're not dropping the hips. If you're dropping the hips, you're just going to raise up and lower or you're just doing this. We're getting ready to switch to the other leg right away. Good work, staying down here on your bum. Next up, you're gonna do a double star crunch. So you're going to sit back in this position, tensions on the lower abs. You're going to bring elbow to knee, finger to toe, other side. If you want to modify this one a little bit, you can just do elbow to knee. You can sit up a little bit so you're not putting as much tension on the lower abs in between.
good work. Flip it over into tabletop. We're going to work with one side at a time, so choose a leg to start off with. You're going to do a rainbow leg. So start with the toes off to the side. From here, you're gonna bring the leg up to the back, to the side, to the back. Keep that upper body nice and strong. Core is engaged. You're not swaying with the leg. You're just moving that leg. From here, you're gonna use that same leg. We're gonna do some donkey kicks. So bring the leg up, but you're gonna pulse, pulse, bring it in. Drive that working hip down into the floor. Make sure you're not arching your back here. The core is tight, belly button to spine. Good. Taking a quick 15 second rest, we're going to do the other side. Here we go. Core is nice and tight. Getting ready for donkey kicks with a pulse. Drive that heel all the way up to the ceiling. Good, staying down here on the floor. You're gonna sit on one side, extend that front leg. We're gonna work our inner thighs. 30 seconds each leg. You're gonna bring it up, and then you're going to lift everything up. So just the leg, then the body. This inner thigh is pointed toward the ceiling the whole time. should have given this modification sooner. I'm really trying, you guys, I promise. But just doing inner thigh leg lifts, I'm sure you guys would have got that one, is a great modification. Gonna do the other side right away. Okay, coming into a plank, high plank. You're going to reach back for a plank toe tap, both sides. Then you're going to do a plank jack, except you're gonna come in, then out. So in, out, in, out. Reach it back, come back to center. Two jumps. You can remove the jump from this one to modify. You can just step it in and out. Lead with those lower abs when you're reaching for those toes.
Nice work, stand it up. Next up, you're gonna do a squat to a reverse lunge, squat to a reverse lunge. So squat, come up, step it back, center. Squat, step it back, nice and simple. Make sure you're sitting back into this lunge. Knees not going too far over the toes, you're sitting, pressing through that heel. Ten more seconds. Nice work. Next step. We're going to do a side leg lift. So this time your outer thigh is pointed toward the ceiling. Lifting up, bringing it across for a crunch. Here we go. So tapping the toe down to the floor in between. Make sure when you bring that leg up for a crunch, you're bringing it up in front of you so you're engaging that core. Nice work, 15 second rest. Then we're gonna do the other side. Here we go, find your balance. Outer thigh pointed toward the ceiling. Let's go. All right, coming back down to the ground into yet another plank. This is why we warmed up our wrists, everybody. We're going to do what I call TikTok abs, not because of the app, but because of a clock. <laughs> so you're bringing the leg up, whew, crunch, crunch. If this is like, holy heck, I cannot do that, bring the knee into the elbow, like so. We're coming down on the ground. You're gonna be on your elbow on one side. We're gonna do 30 seconds on each side. Legs are bent, continuing to work on those obliques. Stack that shoulder over top of the elbow. You're coming up, opening up this leg, and close, nice and simple. Getting ready to switch sides.
Nice work, stand it up. We are almost there, guys. Okay, next up, we're doing a squat with a twist. So you're coming down and twisting. Remembering to keep that core tight, using that momentum to feel the resistance in the core. All the way down in that squat, keep the chest lifted as you come down. Nice work. Okay, heading down to the ground again. I'm splitting up all these leg exercises and arm exercises so I'm not tiring you out too much. We're gonna do some rolling planks. So your arms are gonna be like this, on the ground. Come up, move through center. Make sure you hit that center mark every time. Don't let those hips drop. our last exercise. We're going to do a side lunge. And as you come up from your side lunge, you're gonna bring the knee up and arms reach up as well. Here we go, we're gonna do one side at a time. When you're dropping down into this side lunge, don't drop everything. Keep the chest lifted. Sit into this heel and then press through that glute to stand up. work 15 second rest we're gonna do the other side and then we're gonna get into our cool down here we go guys last 45 seconds push it hit that lunge every time one. Good work. All right, let's get into a little bit of a cool down. Legs are nice and wide. We're going to try and slow down that breathing first. So as the arms come up, we're going to inhale. As the arms come down, we're going to exhale. Here we go. Good, stay down here. 
Find a comfortable position. You can have your legs slightly bent. You're gonna cradle your head. And we're gonna rock from side to side. Let the upper body feel nice and loose. Feel the stretch in those hamstrings. Place those hands down on the ground. You're gonna take a big bend in the knees and stretch. From here, you're gonna step into a forward fold. So we're gonna bend here. Try and keep that chest as close as you can to your quads. Send it up. And down, we're gonna do this a couple times. Good, take a seat on the floor. You're going to extend one leg, bring the other leg on top. Sit on top of those hips. Pull this knee as close as you can into your chest and twist. Good, release that leg. Other one comes up and over. Good, extend both legs, roll it over onto your belly. You're gonna press yourself up here into a cobra pose, letting those hips sink down into the floor and opening up that chest. Don't push yourself too much to the point where you have pain in your back. Just try to relax here and focus on opening up those hips. Good, from here we're gonna push back into puppy pose. So extend those arms out in front of you and press those shoulders down into the floor. Good, slowly coming out of this. Tuck those feet in, stand it up. Last but not least, we're gonna stretch out the fronts of our biceps and our chest. So clasping the hands behind you, lifting them slightly away from your body. You can hold here for a few moments. Release, and do it one more time. Good, release, give those arms a shake. Great job guys, I hope you enjoyed this 30 minute full body workout. No equipments, no repeats. Let me know how you enjoyed it in the comment section of this video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me and I will see you guys very soon, bye.